Howdy folks and welcome back to Stone Block 2 and man I feel like a freaking moron. Alright, the reason that these were always offline is because connecting the uh, battery, the energy cell to them, the energy acceptor to them, none of that worked. You had to have the glass cable connected to them and it only connects to the top or bottom. It does not connect to the sides, which I kind of figured anyway, but eh. So... I had to make this big old web of glass cable just to get this thing to work. And now I'm stuck over here. Darn it. <laughs> I done messed up. Uh, that's okay. We can get out of here nice and easy. Uh, oh, I thought. Okay. Let's try that again. There we go. So it's working now. And look at that. Uh, they, these things grew up so fast being in here. Oh, man. Look at that. I... Ow. Why was this so difficult? Now, one thing I am going to do right off the bat is we're going to go ahead and pop that. We do not want this thing continually dumping energy. Uh, so it, we don't need them right now. We're going to turn them off by breaking the cable. Now, I'm sure there's another way to do that, but we work with what we got. So we now have our pure Certus Quartz crystals, which we needed over here. For this guy. So let's throw that in there. And there we go. Now it's going to start making this. Spit it out. Sometime today. Maybe. There we go. Uh, let's grab up our stuff that we had over here. We got all these. Got all that. Uh, I think that's it. Maybe. Okay. Let's see. Come over here. Drop in one of these. And we need the calculation circuit. All right, it's going to make that up for us. So then we'll have an engineering processor, logic processor, and a calculation processor. We now have one of each. So, where do we go from here? <laughs> uh, we needed the ME controller, which is going to use an engineering processor and pure fluix crystals. Oh, boy. So this is going to be the same thing. we got to run uh, the fluix crystals through the grinder, uh, and then combine them with sand. That's fluix dust. Maybe we can get away with that. Um, I, well, duh. Uh, so let's grab some more sand, and we're going to combine the two like so. That'll give us plenty of those. Let's uh, stack that up. We're going to come back up here, reconnect our little device, and we're going to throw these guys in uh, like that. Just throw the whole stack in. And it shouldn't take long. Uh, let's see how... Start the timer. I'm not doing any cuts. We're going to see how long that takes while we're waiting for that. Let's see here. What else did we need? Sky stone blocks. Uh, we've got those. Uh, oh, we got sky stone. I think we need to do this. No. That's not how you make them. How do you make sky stone blocks? Sky stone block. You have to cook the sky stone. Okay, let's go cook the sky stone. Uh, we'll throw that in here. Uh, you know, let me give you a little more coal. No, not up there, stupid. Down here. There we go. Okay, well, that's making the sky stone. Let's come check on these guys. See how they're doing. Oh, look at that. They're almost done. What is that? About two thirds? Wow. That is really fast. <laughs> uh, because I, I left that sitting in the water over there for probably half an hour while I was messing with this stuff and nothing. They were up to 3%. It's like, are you kidding me? That was miserable. So, we're just going to let those keep going. Oh, 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 some of them are popping. They're already getting up to the max level. There they are. They're done. Man, that was fast. Get, why can't I get in there? Oh, my God. All right, let's cut the power. <laughs> There's the off switch right there. Uh, so, let's come over here. We should have four sky stone now. Now we got eight. That'll work. Uh, coming down here. And we needed, oh, uh, yeah, no, we're fine. Uh, stupid. 
I'm just clicking and tapping, and oh man, I'm a mess. So, ME controller. What else am I missing? Oh, I needed more of the glass, didn't I? Networking switchboard. So, what I wanted to do. Now, this might be a little ambitious, but I just made one of these, okay? So, I want to make the rest of them offline, uh, off camera. I'm not going to drag y'all through all that. So, what I was thinking about doing, let me come down here. We're going to hop on this guy right here, come up like so. Now, typically, whenever you're making an ME system, you want to lay them out so that they're in a big cube like a skeletal cube that's uh, seven by seven, if I'm remembering right. So what I was thinking, let me see here, that's one, two, three, okay, so not quite. Oh, that is close, let me see here. Let me see here, from the elevator, that's one, two, three, four. Oh, five, six, okay. Oh, uh, if I center this thing, just right. What I was thinking I could do was have the cube, the bottom of my ME controller, uh, it was, a, yeah, ME controller block, even with maybe a block above the uh, reactors, or make it uh, like it's hanging down from that ceiling. So that elevator block that's right there, floating in the middle, would actually be inside the cube. Uh, I think that'd be pretty cool. But if I could make it look like it's hanging down from the ceiling up there. And then have all the cables coming off of it. Going in every which direction. I ain't mean, no regard to aesthetics. Nothing. I mean, it's going to look like some monster coming out of the ceiling. That's what I'm thinking I'm going to do. Something like that. But that's going to take me a little bit of time. I won't get working on that. So... I have not done anything else over here. As you can see, there's still no gel of cryothium in here. Um, and I think I'm putting that on hold for right now. What I'm going to work on right now, I'm going to go off the camera for a while. And I'm going to put together the rest of the ME controllers that I need. So that I can make this big cube. And have it hanging down from the ceiling. And see if I can make it, uh, make these cables coming out of it look neat or something uh to make cables i will just go through that real fast real fast uh the dense cables uh the, well okay here we go it's just uh well uh me covered cable we'll start here so wool and the glass flux cable all right which that's this stuff right here it's two flux crystal coarse fiber coarse fiber is real simple and then, uh, let's do that. Uh, let's come over here. Here, here. No, yep. Uh, nope. Uh, there we go. Make the uh, covered flux. Put uh, some more of that on there. Get, makes it a smart cable. We want smart cables. And I think we can take smart cable up to dense. Uh, can't we? No. Can we not... Make, uh, that's the smart cables. Dense smart cables. That's what I'm going for, basically, is dense smart cables. So I make the dense covered cable. Redstone, glowstone will make it smart. To make that, I need four of the regular covered cable. Okay, yeah. I hope you followed that. <laughs> I hope you followed that. It was backwards and twisted up and everything. But I want to use the dense cable because it's big and fat and kind of ugly looking. And it can kind of look like, I don't know, tentacles or something coming off the giant squid head that's going to be up there that's uh, the ME controller. I don't know. Something like that. But I want to get working on that. And I'll see you guys in just a minute. All right. I'm back. And okay. So that's how long I've been away is that this has stopped working. And it's not from lack of power. It's because it's all full up. Because oh, all of this is full up. Every single one of these. Now, I haven't put in the Emerald upgrades yet, but that, that's how long I've been away is that it's, eh, it's full. And it looks kind of cool, too. 
But uh, I, I can tell you, y'all ain't ready for this. Okay, so first of all, I was away long enough that I got all of the gelid cryothium in there. Now you'll see, you don't need uh, the gelid cryothium in every single space. You just need it in the three spaces, north, south, east, and west of your uh, cores, okay? But you don't need it in the diagonals because the cores don't check the diagonals for their heat. I also started laying out where the other reactors are going to go. Remember I said there's going to be four of them. Now check this thing out, okay? I turn this thing on and look at how much it's outputting. I think it, uh, I can't remember what it got up to. It got up to something ridiculous earlier. Uh, I think it was 500 and, uh, you know what, let's just see. 521, 522. Okay, so we're going to say right around there. 523 and it's still going up very slowly. But yeah, 524 now, 1000 RF per tick. This thing is putting out the power. <laughs> it is putting out a ton of power. Now you'll see that these guys are right here. Uh, instead of upstairs where I had them before, some things have changed. I've been busy. Uh, there's only seven. I thought there'd be more than that by now. Um, so, yeah, uh, I've been a little busy. <laughs> I... You know, I was waiting for the cryothium and all that because, hey, and look, I've got extra too. Uh, I set up the uh, automation on the magmatic crucible thing. And um, yeah, I was waiting for the cryothium. And while I was waiting, I just started placing blocks. I was like, I wonder if I can make these uh, connect together so we can walk across the top of them. And then once I did that, I was like, well, wait a minute. What about if I make the top of each reactor kind of like an area for stuff? So, like, over here would just be the storage. And over there would be the crafting or something like that, you know. So, I started connecting them together. Uh, and putting the tops on them. And making nice little steps up and lighting it all up. And it's just... It's grown, and the squid idea is out the window. I, <laughs> I was going to make some kind of uh, Lovecraftian horror thing, but uh, once this started happening, it's like, you know what? I think this is a better idea. I like this more. So we're going to go with this. Um, and I started expanding it, and it's become a thing. I, I think I like it. I think I like how this is going. Now, this is still right in the middle. I don't need that there anymore. Um, and I've see, like I said, I was putting up everything to make it look like it was being hung from the ceiling or something like that. And I just left it. Hey, because whatever, I, I still like how this turned out. This turned out really cool. And I'm looking forward to finishing that up. Uh, getting in the other three reactors, putting the caps on them. Because these caps don't affect the uh, productivity of the reactor. So, yeah, why not? Use the top of the reactor for something. So let's uh, go up. Uh, yeah, I've pretty much gutted this room. <laughs> there is hardly anything left in here. All right. All those uh, power generators, pff, gone. Ripped them all out. All the lava generators, gone. Ripped them out. Because I don't need lava generation either. I've got a lava chicken. Alright? So, I mean, everything is great. Now, this little thing over here, this is the alloy smelter. Now, I told y'all I wasn't going to take you through crafting an alloy smelter. Uh, let me show you why. Okay? Uh, where is it? Uh, here, here it is. The alloy smelter is a beast all right so these are the two different recipes for it and one is just as bad as the other okay you have to have a simple alloy smelter and a simple powered furnace of which i had neither so i figured i would just make 
the uh, original one that uses three furnaces. That part was the easy part, and so was the cauldron. Okay, so cauldron, three furnaces, dark steel ingots. I got lucky, I had those. The uh, dark bimetal gears, also not too bad. You got dark steel nuggets around an infinity bimetal gear. Now remember, I've got that grains of infinity down there. Uh, iron nuggets and uh, iron ingots, not that big a deal. This is where the pain is, is this industrial machine chassis. First of all, you need the simple machine chassis, which is easy enough. Iron bars, iron ingots, and another grain of infinity. The problem is, is you have to run it through an induction smelter with this, industrial dye blend. This is where the pain was, okay? Organic green dye not cactus green okay crushed lapis or lapis powder you can't just do regular lapis you gotta run it through a grinder of some sort okay crushed another quartz dust all right not so bad organic black dye that was bad that was very difficult to do because i didn't have the stuff <laughs> I didn't have an alloy smelter to make it. So <laughs> I went through a lot of misery trying to get something that would work. And I can't even remember exactly what it is I did. But I eventually got an alloy smelter. And what I've been using it for is putting nether quartz and glowstone to make enlightened fused quartz. That's what all of this is. All this glass here. It's in light infused quartz, which is basically a light emitting glass block. No need for torches, no need for other lighting if you have these around. Now, when you get out there in the middle, of course you're going to need lighting. But uh, down here, or like around these stairs and everything, I don't need torches or anything because I've got the enlightened fused quartz. Great stuff. I love it. One of my favorite blocks in modded Minecraft. That's what this is. <laughs> That's all this is doing is it's taking the uh, glowstone and the quartz, sucking it in there, cooking it, and throwing it back up there. There wasn't much. This little guy, similar thing. What I was doing is I was getting the Certus quartz and just throwing a whole bunch of stacks in here. And then on the green channel, it was pulling out of here and pushing into these simple sag mills. And then on the brown channel, as you can see there, so you just click on that uh, to change the channel. It was pulling the ground up uh, Certus Quartz and throwing it down here. And that is how I got the uh, pure Certus Crystals to make the uh, engineering, no, the uh, calculation processors. What am I missing? Oh, did I run? I ran out of silicon. So... Let me grab these out of here real quick. We're just going to throw these in. Uh, that one goes over there, and that one goes over there. So we have 422 calculation processors, 376 logic processors, and 339 engineering processors. Hopefully we'll be good for a while. So here's the uh, Magma Crucible. Okay. Uh, this one, I think I showed you the recipe on this. Let me pull it up again real quick. Uh, magma crucible. Yeah, this is the one that uh, I needed the nether bricks for. Uh, needed fused quartz, which is four uh, nether quartz in an alloy smelter. So that was taken care of. Machine frame, easy stuff. Got it all put together. Gave it power. Throw the uh, cryothium dust in here. And it just sucks it down and then shoots it into this guy right here. Uh, which... I got these from uh, rewards uh, for completing quests. So, I mean, it's it's been a thing. It's been getting done. So now I need to go and dig through all these random chests until I find um, all of the ME stuff. Because I know I've gotten ME stuff as rewards uh, for qu completing quests. 
but I don't know where all of it is. See, there's another piece of fused quartz. I just drop stuff wherever. Uh, wherever. See, there's basic drawers up here. Um, it's just wherever I am, if I need inventory space, I'll just throw something in the chest. That's why I need an ME system. Is because this stuff just ends up everywhere. And I end up losing stuff. I don't know where things are. It's very frustrating at times. I mean, there's a bat's wing in here. I really... I don't need all that. I just needed to top that off. Um, over here. Yeah, okay. There's two red... What? <laughs> I, just, I don't I don't know. I, I just throw stuff wherever. And so, yeah, like I said, I need an ME system. Because I need to get all this stuff in one spot. Let me make sure I didn't throw anything in there. No. Uh, what about over here? No. Okay, we're still good. What about in here? Uh, I thought I had ME stuff. I could have swore I did. Maybe I didn't. Um. Well, this is awkward. I thought I had that. Am I? Okay, there it is. That's it. Just four of the 64K ME. I tell you what. These random quest reward things... Some people have amazing luck with them. Not me. <laughs> I seem to have the worst luck with these random quest reward things. It is so frustrating. It really is. So, okay. Let's come back over here to Applied Energistics. Uh, Alright. Now, some of the things that we're going to need... Uh, well... We need the ME drive, okay? This is what we stick our hard drives in. Not too terribly expensive. In fact, I can probably make a few of those. Um, I don't need a few of them, but I can make a few of them. What was it? Was it? I can't remember which processor it was. I just looked at it. Engineering processor, okay. So we'll grab that, and we're going to grab some of this uh, glass cable. And let's just go ahead and... Throw that in there. I'm not going to make 16. We'll make two of them. That'll be fine. Uh, just two. So now we have the 64K components. And we need to make a storage cell. So I can do redstone, quartz, glass, and ironing it. <sighs> quartz glass. Okay. Where is the quartz glass? There it is. Okay. Uh, so we'll grab the quartz glass. We're going to make all four of them. Uh, because I'm not playing around with this. I, I need to get the storage up and running. Um, where'd it go? Uh, the way I'm doing that is I'm right clicking on it. And whenever you right click on an item, it shows you what it's used for. If you left click on it, it shows you how you get it. Uh, oops, I meant to shift click that. So let's try that again. All four of them. Awesome. Okay. So now, let me just kind of shuffle this stuff out of the way. We're going to bring this down. Oh, I need something else too, uh, before I get too far ahead of myself. Why am I backing out of that? I, dope. Um, I need terminals. Where are the terminals? Are they on page two? Yes, okay. ME crafting terminal. To get that... I need a crafting table, calculation processor, and ME terminal. To get an ME terminal, I need annihilation core, information core, logic processor, and an illuminated panel. Illuminated panel? Okay, quartz glass, glowstone, redstone, iron. Okay, that's easy enough. Oh, why did I get out of there? I, where is it? Where is the illuminated panel? There it is. What am I missing? Glowstone. Okay, let's grab some glowstone. Uh... I don't know. I, <laughs> I I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. Where did I put it? Um, where did I put it? Where is it? There it is. Okay. Uh, so we'll throw that in there. Mm. Yeah, I'm going to need a few of those. So we'll go ahead and make all six of them. Uh, so stepping that up, we need an ME terminal, which needs an annihilation core and a formation core. Oh, well, that's not too bad. Um... So we'll grab that. Uh, what else was it? Uh, where where are they? They're on page one, aren't they? Uh, 
Where are they? Oh, okay, here we go. Uh, oh, Flux Dust. Flux Dust is a little bit different. Um, do I have any already ground up? It does not look like it. Either I don't have it or I don't see it. Uh, <laughs> always the way. Uh, so we'll just... Uh, no, 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 not that. Um, that. That's what I meant to throw in there. <laughs> Oops. Okay. That's what I need is this right here. Uh, so you get out of my hand. Set that off to the side too. Uh, that's enough, right? I think. Uh, we'll find out. Um, so we needed a couple of these. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I've got too much stuff in my inventory. Um, so let's put down some of these laboratory blocks because we're not doing that right now. And we can put down a couple of the quartz glass because that's too many to carry around. Okay, so we needed this guy right here. Uh, Alright, we'll take that, four of them. And then the other one is the formation core, which I'm not seeing. Oh, there it is, all the way down at the bottom. Okay, and that one uses charged certus cords, which we have plenty of. Alright. Oh, and I, and also uh, some of that. <laughs> we also need that. Uh, okay, so it's down here at the bottom. Uh, okay, so we got that. Awesome. Now we'll come back over here. And what else did we need? We needed another logic processor, which is the only thing I don't have in my hand. Let's grab another one. Uh, and it, is it this? No, no, uh, stupid, where is it, there it is, make that, ME terminal, okay, uh, so we got the ME terminal, we need a crafting table, do I have any wood, <laughs> I don't have any, I don't, oh my god, okay, that's, we got this, we got it right there, oh, would you freaking work, there, okay, we got that, what else do we need? Do we need anything else? Uh, we need a calculation processor. Which is that one right there. Now, make it. Got it. Awesome. Okay, so now that we've got that, we'll come all the way down to here. This is the one that's um, above, it's the second to last one. This is where I wanted to be. So what I want to do is I'm just going to throw the crafting terminal right there I guess and now I can look in there I can see uh why am I stop that uh <laughs> I try to hit E and it's pulling up that whatever okay so I was talking about having over here be the storage right so in order to pull that off if I were to do something like so uh that might, no, that'll be fine right there. And bring it down. Is that uh, going to put it where I want it? Yes, it is. That's right where I want it. That way I can kind of build up a little wall here to kind of wall off the storage area. So that is cool. We will take that. We're going to put one there. We're going to put one there. And let's throw these four in here. And now, if I come over to this guy... Like so, I can start throwing stuff in. <laughs> Yay. Oh my god. Finally. Oh. <laughs> this is great. This is what I wanted. Okay. I need, uh, I wanted, I needed this. All right. So let's see what we got. This is taking up 16 of 63 types and 000. zero, zero. So we've got a little bit of space. So what I can do now is I can take all of the ingredients needed to make the storage drives and I can just throw them in the ME system and then I can craft them from there instead of going around to different drawers, different chests and everything, trying to find everything. I can just do this. Okay, so the reason that I'm using the dense cable right here there are two reasons for it. One, I like it. 
<laughs> um, seriously, I, I like the dense cable. I like the way it looks. It's really cool whenever you're using most of the channels too. The other one is it has 32 channels, which means that I can connect 32 devices to this one cable, okay? Which is perfect for the storage room. So for right now, this is more than sufficient. All right, because I've only got two devices connected to it. But whenever I go and start filling this in with more of these guys, I'm going to use up those 32 channels. Possibly. <laughs> I might not. I, I very well could be that I end up not needing to use all of them. But I like, like I said, the biggest reason is I like these. These dense cables are so nice looking. <laughs> um, and as far as this right here, this is the aesthetic that I wanted to do. I, that's all there is to it. There is no special purpose or anything like that. It's just what I wanted to do. It looked cool. I was slapping this all together and I liked the way it was turning out. So I went with it. <laughs> There's no special reason behind it. Because, I mean, the crafting terminal is here. And I'm going to have the other terminals that I need on the other uh, three here. So... Yeah, and let's just real quick, uh, at applied again, the other terminals, uh, that's the crafting terminal, which we needed, um, where is it, fluid terminal, maybe, conversion monitor, I don't know about that, ME terminal, ME storage monitor, illuminated panel, Pattern terminal, we're going to need that. We are definitely going to need that. Uh, what is that one? Interface terminal? I don't know. One, there is two of them that had to do with patterns and crafting. And uh, stop. Why? Stupid. I'm trying to get out of there. <laughs> uh, so. Like, I guess I'll put the fluid one over here or wherever, and then I'll put the um, pattern one. And if I can figure out what the fourth one is, because I I knew that I know there's a fourth one. I think it's the crafting monitor is what it's called. Um, I'll put that on one of these. But, I mean, they're similar recipes to the crafting terminal. So... I'll get all that set up. I'll get that put together. Uh, I'm going to try and work on getting some more of these reactors in. Uh, and I also want to see about automating, inserting, and extracting fuel and waste from the uh, reactors. Because going down there and manually inserting it when I have this is kind of pointless. <laughs> but... Um, I think that's going to do it for today, folks. Uh, I really enjoyed building this up to this point, and I'm really looking forward to seeing the finished product, and I hope you are too. If you enjoyed the episode, please go ahead and leave a like, subscribe, and we will see you next time. Bye now.